open your eyes. For the sake of your master. Hey, this is Tamara signing on with Sekiro. Shadows die twice. Okay, I'm a little behind, bit behind on the uh, train, but this is the new From Software game. The creators of Dark Souls and Bloodborne, some of my favorite games of all time, and they finally released their other one, their newest one, about a week ago. I kind of fell behind due to budgeting reasons, but I finally picked up my copy and I'm ready to go. Now, this has been an interesting game for a lot of people because it seems like the crossover between Dark Souls fans and Sekiro fans are kind of like a 50-50 split. Well, maybe not. That's exaggeration a little bit, but I've seen plenty of people who love Dark Souls not like this game, not because it's bad, just because of how it plays or just some of the mechanics it tries to do. Like, at this point, Jim Sterling is a big proponent of the... It's not a bad game, but it's I don't like it because it's just not for me. Because it requires a different skill set than what Dark Souls does. And I understand that. So, it's really an interesting game from a very um, debated company. So, yeah, I guess it's just get into it. I suppose up the camera speed just for the heck of it. Standard. I think my game audio is loud enough. I might have to adjust my monitor. Subtitles on, blood on. I set everything to... Uh, let's just adjust the brightness by one. Nope, not default. There we go. Just trying that. Music's fine. Guess we'll up everything up. Uh, yeah, we'll up it. Why not? Max it out. I'll fix it in post. Um, so yeah, Sekiro. I've been really interested to play this game. I've heard some good things. I've heard some bad things. I've seen some, you know, I'm just really interested to give it a try. So, I can't wait to see what FromSoft has has in store for their Japan new was game. Consumed by a perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashima. I'm just letting it play out. Oh, my game audio's good. Is the war finally over? Probably not. I like the Japanese aesthetic, like, for a lot of things. So it's gonna be like Neo, but it's gonna be less like Dark Souls and more like what I've heard, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Which I love that game, but I guess we'll see what it's like when I actually play it. Gory ish. I'm just so excited to play it. Master Swordsman Ishin Ashina staged a bloody coup and wrested control of the land. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a Master Shinobi. Hell yeah! Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, 
bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Okay, I'm down. So yeah, our character is a shinobi named Wolf, and yeah, that's about that's about the extent of the story as I know. And like with most Japanese Ronin stories, you got a little, you know, somebody you're protecting. I don't know if the from what I've seen of this character, I don't know if it's a prince or just some kind of important person. But usually, yeah, with these Ronin stories, it's usually like the lone swordsman is protecting somebody. Some Twenty years. After Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. Oh no! And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Of course he did. Both the man who took him in, and the boy he had sworn to protect. Oh wow, he messed that up fast. How we looking? Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master. Hey, wake up. Don't make me get a dog whistle. <laughs> Come on, you old dog, it's time for an adventure! <laughs> okay, we're in gameplay, and I'm already loving the Dark Souls looking vibe. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit more acrobatic than Dark Souls, which I'm really interested in. Ornamental letter, a letter thrown into a well. Kuro's Wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. Okay. <laughs> Just dump and jump in the water. I'm pressing buttons. I don't know if we can't dive yet or what. Okay. I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay, L3 to crouch. Jump. Kind of like a little wall run. I hope my monitor is able to keep up with the action because it looks a little choppy to me. I'm not sure if that's just me or what. Hold on. Homeward Idol. So, you know, our homeward. Yeah, basically our homeward bone for the game. Hold on. Maybe I'll dock that down again. So I'm just checking stuff. Something just doesn't seem right the way I'm looking at it, but maybe it's just me early on. Okay, I'm figuring this out. Bear with me. I want to explore, because it looks cool. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Advance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. You still have to avoid enemies head to head. Moonview Tower. Warning markers. So yeah, Dark Souls Attention with actual stealth. That'll be well. interesting. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. The moonlight shines strongly on the Moonview Tower tonight. 
The Divine Heir is probably using the light for his reading again. Probably, but imprisoning a mere child. I feel sorry for the boy. Agreed. But I'm sure Lord Genichiro has his reasons. All right. Is that where we're supposed to go? FOV is a little close, but maybe that changes when we get a little. Whoops. That works. Climb. Don't press the drop button. If it matters to anybody, I am playing on a regular PS4, so I just wonder if that's going to be a factor at some point. Because I've heard no real performance issues on console. Well, I've heard some problems on PC that seem a little random, so I don't know. And I haven't heard much about performance issues on consoles, but all I, people I hear, I hear say that are on PS4 Pros. So, just a reference. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. Oh, is this the kid we were supposed I've to come save? For you, my lord. Yeah, hey, Dark Souls well, game then. protagonist that can speak. Great. Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. Let's go kill some samurai. <laughs> Kusana, Kusabi Mar, Kus, Kusabi Maru, sorry, revered blade. Once was thought was lost, we're on the way back. Shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. The mantra of blade itself may manifest. Okay, we've got our blade. We need some health, though. I'm guessing that's our health bar in the bottom left. <laughs> Loyal wolf, I see you are wounded. I have something that may help. It Yay. is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. Healing gourd? Is this basically our Estus flask? My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now, we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it. Okay. Healing gourd. Psycho quick. Yep. It's not equipped. Uh, hold on. Definitely gonna have to keep that equipped. Uh. There's a secret passage. Find when oh. you. I'll come. Ooh, is that how we run? Hold on. Did I make a mistake? Did I forget how to it do? Okay. This little pellets will slowly restore vitality. Okay. It's basically like a little dash we got.
Shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy posture breaks, he is rolled to a Shinobi Death Blow. Attack after breaking posture, Death Blow. Okay. There we go, that was sort of a stealth attack. Hey buddy! Whoop. Oh, I thought I was dead already. I go, wow, that didn't take much. Okay, these guys are pretty simple. So yeah, you keep knocking them back to the point where they lose their guard, and then you can just finish them off with one blow. Which is a pretty cool idea. I'm just going through and see if I can see anything. I don't know what that is. I thought it was a dash, but... Deflection. Bling. L1, the moment attack to deflect. So parrying. Oh god, I'm not good at this, but... I hear... There we go. I hear the parrying window is a lot more forgiving than in Dark Souls. So I guess that's what makes the combat more based around parrying than... Uh, kind of like dodging and rolling. Lock on. Hey, who wants to have some fun? Boom! There we go. This is only gonna get harder. <laughs> Around. There were some bigger guys up here. Are they still around? Ooh, I wonder. Can I? <laughs> if I go around and get behind him, can I just death blow him? Watch out! Punk. Maybe there's no one in there. I'm just trying stuff. Okay, maybe go through that door. I don't know what that is. Actually, you know what? I could just go to... Step, dodge, release, crouch, dodge, dodge. Hold, collect, loot. Oh, so that's what that is. Oh, that's what the wind is. Okay. Oh, use item is up on the D-pad. I completely missed that. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold this. Oh, wait. That's right. That's Dark Souls. Woo! And no stamina gauge. I don't see yet. Unless they add it later. Guess we'll find out. Oh! Well, I should have saw that coming. Okay, uh, there's a third guy behind me, isn't there? Counter Slash. Counter Slash can be performed immediately after collecting an attack. Deal posture damage without giving an enemy time to recover. Okay. So it's like you get... I am dead. Oopsie. Okay, so there's kind of like that's like if you counter perfectly, that's where you get rewarded. Okay. So, that was the first death of the game. How sad. Oh, uh, do we start over? Well, at least I got full health now. Get up. Sometimes it's just all about deflecting. That was a little awkward, but I guess I wasn't locked onto him. There we go. You know what, just to leave no survivors, let's go to that other guy up there. Gotta watch my health. Hey buddy! You want a tango? There we go. 
Is there a way I can get... Hold on, is there a way to... Yes! It's going to be stuff like that traversal that's going to make this game so much, so interesting. I was wondering, is there a way around to get a jump on them? And there is! That's actually really cool. Leader Shin Shingori image cut T stuck on. And right, I got my posture too. If I just keep my distance, let my posture drop, otherwise he'll kill me. against strong enemies. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown by the red circular mark above the vitality. Each death blow removes one marker. Oh god. <laughs> Nothing to loot yet, though. Okay. So that was our first boss, I think. <laughs> Basically. Fistful of ashes. Ash Gupton. Oh, okay. Basically throwing dust in their eyes. Fair enough. Something I heard when... Something I heard about this game is... In Dark Souls, it's kind of hard to take the cheap shots, and you kind of feel bad for doing it. In Sekiro, since you're, you can't be afraid to take those, you know, you can't be afraid to take those cheap shots or those stealth kills, because they're going to be necessary to get through this. Nice. I have a feeling I'm already going to like the traversal, but I guess we'll see. Secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge. We just got orders to guard it. Mm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. Okay, so they're guarding it. What is that? What the heck is that? I kind of assumed... Please drop loot. No? Oh dear. Did I make a mistake? I was assuming it was one of those weird bug things that usually drop loot um, in Dark Souls, but I guess not. Um... Oh. Hold on, do we go down or do we need to go... I'm looking at that, but I guess this is the way we're supposed to, because there's a prompt. Nope. Wow. That fall damage would kill you even if you had a lot of health. Quick use items. I don't have anything, though. Oh, uh, what about the pellets? Can I... Okay, that'll let us, get us going a little bit longer. What? Oh. It's confused, like, enemy? What? Oh, it's just a little salamander that I just stabbed in the throat. Okay, just seeing if you can...
Uh, what do I do? Oh. No more of them. I think I made a mistake. Nope, no, 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 no. Nope, that's a chasm. I will die that way. I think I made a big mistake. I wonder if it's there. There's gotta be a way back up, right? I just don't know how. <laughs> Oopsie. Shoot. Just killing lizards out of frustration. Crap, what am I missing? Do I have to just die? Did I make a mistake? That's our way back up. Okay, we're now over here, but what does that... Oh! Wait, oh, I see. Yeah. He'll get down here safely, sure. And broken ankle. Wolf, you found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. Okay. So, making progress here. Sorry, I'm fumbling around. To think that this is the only way to run from the faded bloodline is the only answer. How you doing? Where shall we go once we're away from the- I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. Yep. Okay. Moving on. I'm waiting for some horrible monster to be down here. Well. This is kind of giving me impressions of Hunter's Nightmare. Um, Flower Patch or whatever, you know? The Divine Air. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. Oh, he was the one who had them. I. Let the big bad wolf take care of this guy. Thank you. Leave this to me. <clears throat> I suppose this is the first real challenge. So the noble shinobi stands in our way. Okay, here we go. You face Genichiro Asina. What is that? What was that that just popped up? Damn. Well, that was short lived. <laughs> Wow, I failed that battle so hard, we lost an appendage. A 
Is that all a shinobi has to offer? The divine heir will be coming with me. What the? Was that a Tengu or something? Divine heir. So is that literal or is that who knows? Well, looks like the wolf has lost his paw. Boy, that's the depressing thing to say aloud. Okay, so I guess there was no winning that fight. Maybe there was, but I think maybe they'd have it turn around on you. Wake up. You sleep too much. You've been doing it for 20 years and now you're doing it more. Up and out, boy. It's badass is what it is. So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate just yet. I gotta look at the cast because it sounds so familiar. Oop. Shinobi prosthetic. An artificial armor shinobi passed down by the sculptor. I've got a human arm fitted with various mechanisms apparently designed in my mind, but I don't like I got them. Yeah. Basically, yeah, now we got our um, feudal Japan robo arm, which is pretty cool. What do you call yourself? Wolf. Your eyes. The eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. How do you get Why here? Am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <clears throat> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. That's about the new Left arm. arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the Shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. It'll <laughs> be prosthetic. It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. <laughs> you catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then, you'll come to appreciate its worth. I'm already liking it, it just looks cool. <laughs> I've said too much. Go now. I still have a question. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name. And that blood runs through your master's veins. Hmm. Of the divine heir. Someone's after him. It's Might a little bit, it's a bit more literal than I thought. Happening to your body have something to do with that. You're quite the strange one. Yet other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. You say that. So yeah, we got our new robo-arm. What's this? You see the kind-faced Buddha there? 
That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. Is that like our upgrade station, or...? Well... I think we're about to begin our adventure. Sculptor's Idol Commune. Commune with the Idol. Sculptor's Idol Service checkpoints that can be found throughout the Ashina. These are our bonfires, I guess. Unseen aid. Here's our one of your resurrection. One use of resurrection. Initially quick items and Some exceptions, resting revised defeated enemies. Okay. What's this one here? Pellets. Okay. So things are coming together. It's doing that because it looks cool. Then we could just sit at it. Okay. But I suppose... Oh, that must be the stranger he was talking about. But we're going to wrap up here for right now. And next time we will continue. I'm getting into this so far. Early on. To t too early to tell yet. But I can see where it ver vastly differs from Dark Souls. And I'm interested to see how much further those things get implemented. So, you know. Okay. Ugh, sorry take a stretch at a yawn. I suppose we'll see how things go next time. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.